What's going on YouTube? Today we're going to be talking about this, the BC Master 2-in-1 lens, wide angle and macro. This is pretty big. That's what she said. Let's go. Yay, packages. Oh my God. I've fallen and I can't get up. So here it is, the BC Master 2-in-1 lens for your phone. It's supposed to give you 110 degrees viewing or 15 times macro. Let's check it out. So first you get, of course, the box. Inside the box, an instruction manual in 130 languages. It's not that many. Then a nice little hard side carrying case. Inside the case, cleaning cloth. How many of these do I have? You have the lens and the clip. The lens is metal. It's not bad, it's pretty hefty. Has a removable lens cap, as well as a screw off lens cap on the rear. It's a, it's a pretty hefty lens. That's a nice solid metal. It has a pretty red ring like those expensive Canon lenses, but it's not expensive. It goes for about $15.99 on Amazon, even though when I bought it, it was $18.99, so prices do change. The unit itself breaks apart. You can unscrew the lower portion. So this is your macro, and this is your wide angle. And of course, to make wide angle. And this is the clip that goes onto the phone. We're gonna try it with the Android and the iPhone so you can see what's better. It has a little rubber backing, so it doesn't damage the screen of your phone. Back to our trusty Galaxy S7. You just clip it on. Bam, done. Make sure to get the hole lined up with your camera lens. Uh, even if you're using a case, this has plenty of room to fit over a case. The next part is we just screw the lens on. And that's it. Pretty simple. So let's go get some sample video. All right, now, so let's go ahead and take a look and see what this looks like on the Galaxy S7. So I'm filming right now with that S7 with no lens attachment. Let's go ahead and pop this on and see what the difference is. Okay, so now we have the BC Master lens attachment on, giving us a 110 degree wide angle view of everything. So can you see more in the picture now? Uh, does it make things look distorted? I notice on the edges sometimes you can see distortion. Uh, also, it can add like 50 pounds right here for some reason. Maybe that's not the camera. What do you think of the picture with the lens attachment? Better? Worse? Let me know in the comments below. So let's go ahead and jump to the iPhone 7 Plus uh, and see how that works with this lens attachment. Okay, so now we're on the iPhone 7 Plus just with the standard camera no lens attachment, uh, so we can check out the field of view. So now let's go ahead and attach this to the iPhone 7 Plus and see how it looks. Now we attach the BC Master 2-in-1 lens to this iPhone 7 Plus. Can you see more? Can you still see distortion like you could with the Android? Is it the same or is it less? And does it still add 50 pounds? Let me know your thoughts. What one looked better? This view on the iPhone 7 Plus or the one we saw before with the Galaxy S7, Android or iPhone? What looks better with this lens attachment? You be the judge. Okay, I promise I'm gonna stop doing that now. This lens attachment does work on the selfie camera uh, as well as, of course, the rear camera. And another feature of this is the 15 times macro lens that it has on it. You simply unscrew this, then you have your 15 times lens. And here's some sample pictures that I took with the 15 times lens. It's nice, it's, it's two for one. So definitely worth the money. And you get a cool cloth with it. So recently I got to test this lens attachment out in Las Vegas. I carried it just like this on a tripod, cell phone, lens attached to it. And it's not that much to carry around. And it pops right apart. I could fit it in my pocket or my little bag I was carrying. And if need be, I could make a phone call. Hello? And it worked great for me. Here's some video I took with this lens attachment. So for me, it was a definite buy just because of the fact that I don't have to carry around a lot of equipment if I need to get a wide angle shot. I could just pop it in my pocket when I'm not using it 
pop it on the phone when I need it, not too much to carry around. But in the comments below, what are your thoughts? Is this something that would work for you? Do you think the video looked better with the lens or even without the lens? So let me know. And again, this is Don. Thanks for watching. Oh, and remember, if you're new here, make sure to subscribe and give a thumbs up if you liked the video. In the meantime, let's go get some more video.